Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. It's like there's this energy where maybe you're recognizing you're like a genie in a bottle. And it could be, be due to the fact that a lot of people, it's like somebody is trying, like the song is, I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. It's like somebody is, I guess, trying to figure out how to rub you the right way to get something out of you. Okay. But there's this resistance here where it, if, if you're not rubbed the right way, nobody can get anything from you. I think that for some, there's probably a person or a group that's realizing that. But I'm also picking up, I'm getting a lot of energies. Um, somebody, somebody does not know that you're like a genie in a bottle. It's like there's an energy that somebody doesn't know how to rub you. Or they're not trying to rub you the right way because they don't actually know you're a genie in a bottle. But then you have people who know you're a genie in a bottle, yet they can't rub you the right way. For some of you, this could be love, like some kind of relationship. It, it could be any kind of relationship or partnership, but it, it seems like you have some people around you who recognize you. They know your worth. They know your value. They don't know how to connect with you. They don't know how to get from you whatever it is that they're seeking. Um... And then you have some people who know, and it's like they're trying to steal it from you. <laughs> so let's see. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I saw Judgment before and then the King. See? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. Oh, I just love what I get. You have a King of Pentacles here and the King of Wands with the Queen of Cups and the Devil. These are these two people. The Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So for some of you, yes. There's, there's more than one person trying to get in your energy. Somebody can see you they know your worth they know your value they're completely obsessed with you um they want to be attached to you because they know you're a genie in the bottle this person is coming to you on some low vibing type of energy they're trying to rub you the right way because they want they want you to invest in something with them they somebody here wants a partnership with you but you have a king of pentacles out here somebody is spiritually blind um so you could be dealing with a person in your there's more than one person. Some of you are dealing with someone, they're they're very um awakened, aware, and, and conscious. So they know. They know about you energetically. You have somebody that sees you perhaps in the physical, they don't quite know the power that you actually carry like spiritually and energetically. Therefore, they're they don't know to try to steal from you. That's sort of a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because this person, they're not recognizing your value. I don't know which one of these people it is. It's the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. King of Pentacles, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, King of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Wands is someone who is fiery. They're passionate. They're strong. They're charismatic. Um, they're a leader, usually. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is a protector, a provider. Um, they care a lot about long-term things. So you could have one person out here that's very action-oriented, one person that's more of a planner, one person who is, you know, focused on building, another person, you know, is, is action-oriented. They, they get in. They, they want to get it done. Somebody could be thinking about long-term success with you. Somebody could be thinking about short-term, looking for a come-up, you know. Um, but what we have here is the Queen of Cups. So you're very nurturing, very healing. Queen of Cups, you, you carry this mother-like mother energy. And, and these masculines are eating it up. Like, they, they love it. Some of you out here with this genie in the bottle, you could be very intuitive. And, and I feel like you embody an extremely feminine-like energy. Not meaning that you're you're cute and sweet and real dainty, but feminine as in you're fertile. You you have, you're abundant. Like, your energy, um, I don't know, the essence of who you are, it just screams fertility, it, femininity. It, you're nurturing, like... This has somebody, the devil. Like, these people, they want to be chained to you. It's because of your um, ability to have... The, the Queen of Cups, you have vision. The Queen of Cups is intuitive. He or she is dreamy. 
you know, some people can say the Queen of Cups sometimes can be a little bit delusional because you can imagine a lot. So, so the Queen of Cups can easily be someone's like fantasy. But the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, you can you can chain or or tame these types of energies. Like the King of Wands, if they're the type, you know, the they're out playboy, playgirl, they're not easily tamed. The Queen of Cups can tame a, a King of Wands. The King of Wands will no longer want to be out. They'll want to be at home, be nurtured and taken care of by the Queen of Cups. The King of Pentacles, who is let me work, 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 bring the bacon home, don't really care about anything else, they will fall head over heels for a Queen of Cups. So the devil is here. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. But I feel like this devil energy, there's some kind of oppressive like mindset that a person has. You're, you're dealing with some masculine theory yeah, with the moon. There's an illusion here. You could have somebody that feels like if they come to you offering money and to bring you um, stability and security, that that's enough. But they're not coming to you with love. So they're rubbing the bottle, but the genie isn't coming out. You have somebody that's like, well, if they if they take action and, and it's fun and it's flirty, that's going to make the genie come out the bottle. But also, this, this person... They may not be bringing security as a bill. So in other words, if you're the divine feminine energy here, you're looking for somebody that embodies everything. <laughs> so you have a king of pentacles here, king of wands. You're in this king, queen of cups energy. You're looking for the emperor. You're looking for somebody that knows how to be passionate, charismatic. They're a protector. They're a provider. But there's also love. See, these are masculines right now who um, they're depending on the feminine energy of this Queen of Cups because they themselves, they don't embody it. The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants you to invest in them. The Two of Cups. That this, that somebody trying to get you to invest in them or partnership with them. It's driving them crazy. Like <laughs> the moon. Like I said, dreams, visions. You can see what's hidden. Somebody thinks that with you on their team, you're the perfect guide. You can you can show them what's hidden. I just did a reading the other day where I said, um, for some of you, a person found out too late that like your spiritual gifts or abilities or whatever, it was their shield of protection because we're a queen of cups, moon energy, heavy um, Pisces, cancer energy here. I'm hearing... Um, I'm hearing, wait a minute, it's a song, Beyonce. What did she say? <laughs> Taking care of home is still fly. I'm going to help you build up the account. That's a good girl. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm hearing it now. Let me upgrade you. That's the song, but wait, wait a minute. Let me upgrade. It's it's a song. She, it's it's a verse she says, and I'm hearing it, but I don't want to butcher. <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. It's something though about taking taking you to close the deal. Somebody is somebody looks at you like you're a deal closer. Hold on. Oh. Um, you need a real woman in your life taking care of home and still fly. And I'm going to help you build up your account. Oh, you take me just to compliment the deals. And anything you cop, I'll split the bill. So, somebody, there's a feminine out here. <laughs> this is so funny. You see how she's sitting there with that cup just like, it's that genie in a bottle of energy. It's so interesting that I, I'm channeling these so somebody could like, Music, I don't know, but she's sitting there like on just chilling with this cup. Like, come get it. Who wants it? You know, <laughs> who wants my cup? That's the energy because this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups, her or his nurturing energy, their ability to dream, their instincts, their intuition will upgrade the life of a person. This person is a genie and a bottle, but you have to come correct. Somebody, you have more than one person in your energy. They're like, 
how can I get this Queen of Cups to be chained to me? Like, <laughs> it's not working. The Seven of Pentacles is here. Somebody is planning. They're trying to figure out how can they get you to invest in this connection. The Six of Swords, yeah. Somebody here is trying to, I feel like with the moon, something here is hidden. Somebody is still trying to hide their emotions. They're hiding their motives, their intentions or something. And I look, the Queen of Swords and the Hermit, I feel like you, you're ghosting somebody. Queen of Swords, you went from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. You're like, mm, that's okay. I put my cup out there. You didn't like it. You didn't want it. You didn't know what to do with it. So don't worry about it. I'll just upgrade my life or I'll upgrade somebody else's life. Don't worry about it. It's that energy like, okay, Divine Feminine, like, Talk your stuff, let you talk your stuff. I see you. <laughs> it's, the it's like, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. And look, you see the King of Wands, King of Pentacles, they both out here howling to the moon. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. They are both talking to the moon about this Queen of Cups. <laughs> I'm like, she, this person is so mysterious. And I feel like. If somebody here is trying to create illusions, they're like, okay, that's not working. <laughs> These people, are, they're trying a lot. They're like, okay, look, seven of cups. They're like, okay, that's not working. Me trying to create these fantasies, these illusions, the mind games with the devil here, the mind games, the trickery, the trying to tempt this person, oppress them, dominate them. Somebody's like, nothing is working. The hierophant in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus, especially with this king of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody, this person, this Taurus person, this hierophant in the reverse could be someone from your past. Six of Cups out here, the tower with the hierophant in the reverse. This person realizes that they abuse their power and authority. And they're wishing now that they had your intuitive, um, like that they, they had your intuitive gift or that they had your guidance. This person feels like with you, they're a better leader because the hierophant in the reverse is a very poor leader. This person lacks vision. They they lack, I don't know, it's something that they lack. And they feel like you're, you as a queen of cups, this is the kind of person too, like, they'll do something, they'll fail, but they know that you're, you're compassionate, you're loving. You'll still love them, cherish them, honor them, respect them. They're now, they're realizing that because with the tower, something has happened. They're, they're experiencing some type of destruction in their life. And it's, it's a result of their own mistakes. And what they're longing for now is a caring, kind, compassion, energy of the Queen of Cups. But something here is over. So this is somebody that you probably already kicked out of your energy. And they're grieving because they're like, no, nobody, nobody's going to love me like this. No, nobody's going to protect me. Nobody's going to pray for me like the Queen of Cups did. <laughs> yeah, somebody is definitely... Trying to be very creative. And trying to win you over. But there's this king, this other person that's in your energy too. This person comes off as very optimistic, but I don't know. It's just like this Queen of Cups. You've got the secret. These very masculine people that are coming towards you, they are not in their feminine energy. So instead of them balancing their own feminine and masculine energy, they're coming to you to take your feminine energy because you have a double dose of feminine energy. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Three of Wands. See, so the Three of Wands, the Emperor is coming in. So for some of you, there's somebody new coming in. Yep, Knight of Cups. Eight of Wands, the world. Whew. Three of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Either somebody is coming in or one of these kings, this King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. They, the Seven of Pentacles, somebody is investing right now. They're planning on, the, like, they're focused on long term goals. The Three of Wands and the Emperor. Okay? Somebody is waiting on like their foundation to be more solid. So they could be this king of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is waiting. They're putting in work. They're waiting on something to come in and offer an opportunity that is going to put them in a position where you see them as 
trustworthy to be a leader. The Knight of Cups. They're coming towards you. I feel like they, they want to put something in this cup. Eight of Wands. They want to take action because the world. They, they want this situation to feel whole and complete. They want success here. But the Ace of Swords. A decision has to be made. The Magician. And here's the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So this King of Wands person, they see you as their match. But they're still not rubbing the 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 they're not rubbing the, the bottle the right way. Like this person, for some of you with the magician, they're gonna have to learn something about manifestation or how to utilize their tools and resources or how to recognize. Like I said, if somebody here, they don't, they're spiritually blind, they don't see you. This person is going to have to tap into their creativity and learn about, I don't know, the law of attraction, manifestation or something so that you can then match them as the queen of wands. Because the queen of wands is a visionary. See what this person they love about you right now is you're the queen of cups. You're healing, you're compassionate, you know, you're nurturing. What they need really is a queen of wands which you can embody the energy of the Queen of Wands. See, you're dreaming right now. This King of Wands needs somebody who's a visionary person. They have a lot of dreams, but I don't feel like they really know what to do with them. But see, they're going to have to learn about your, your true value and see you spiritually in order for the two of you to be the King and Queen of Wands. If and when or when that happens, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, they're going to come towards you with a, an offer. Because they're, they're planning right now. Here it is. Wait a minute. They're already working on this plan. And they're like, okay, I think I, I got one more, one more um, option, one more opportunity left. When they can figure out how to see you spiritually, how to rub the, the, the bottle, the right, the genie will come out and then they'll come to you with an offer and the two of you, you can strike up this passion in the beginning. Now, this Knight of Swords is rushing towards this high priestess with an offer. Some of you have just a lot of people coming towards you. <laughs> Page of Cups. Somebody is coming towards you with an offer. And this is going to bring some kind of chaos or conflict. A lot of people are competing for you. Yeah. Or one of these masculines has somebody that's coming towards them with an offer because that person wants to compete with you. You have somebody rushing towards you, though. You're a high priestess. They're a knight of wands in the reverse. But this person is insecure. They're very egotistical. It's like the Knight of Wands in the verse. They they can't even compete with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. But they're coming towards you. Some of you, this is just karmic energies coming towards you because you're going towards the Four of Wands. Yeah. The Four of Pentacles and then the Ten of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. Somebody is holding on to you. They're not letting you go. Like somebody is holding on to the idea of them having the ten, ten of cups with you. And they know that you, like somebody knows that you can, they all know you can upgrade their life. Okay. But somebody, it just seems, I don't know. It seems like there's an energy out here of a person. Look at the bottom of the deck. It's a star. I don't know which one of these people is who to you. Let's let's see what's going on with this three of wands and the emperor. Actually, let's clarify the two of cups. And we'll come back to the three of wands and the emperor. Ace of swords. You're about to get some kind of clarity and truth, though. If you've been confused, we're still in like the post shadow phase of Mercury retrograde, to be honest. 
you're going to get some um, clarity very soon. The Magician is here. And the Queen of Wands. There could have also been a third party somewhere, like a Queen of Wands who was doing magic to try to keep someone held back because they have a family or they want a family with someone. That also could be a situation, like I said. For some, some of you, there's a person, they are spiritually blind when it comes to you. And it could be because someone has, has kind of had them in their energy. They haven't been able to see you clearly. I don't know. It seems like everybody's getting away to call about you now, though. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. That's the star. Like, where is the Queen of Cups? <laughs> Let's see. Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is clarified with the Empress. What did I tell you? And the Three of Swords. Everybody's heartbroken. Anybody that lost the Empress is heartbroken. Because... For some of you, oh, for some of you, this emperor is somebody that some this could be someone new coming in. Or you're dealing with this person now. This emperor is somebody for a lot of you, you haven't had a relationship with them. Either you haven't met them or this person is in your life, but it's not like a relationship. This person is planning for something long term. They could be planning for something long term with you if you know them, but they haven't expressed it to you. But the emperor and the empress go together. The three of wands, the emperor, the empress, and the two of cups. So what's coming in is a connection that is it's going to be balanced. It's equally yoked. It's real partnership. I mean, and this person is going to be in like investing in the long term with you. Whoever this emperor is, three of wands. Is this somebody that you know? I don't know. Some be different for all of you. Some of you, you know this person. For some of you, you're going to meet them soon. Maybe in the next like three to seven um, weeks or the next three months or so, you may meet this person. Or in that time frame, this, if this person is already in your life, if they're planning for something long term, they may make that known to you. So the King of Pentacles is here with the moon. The King of Pentacles, this is the person that is hiding something. They're hiding some kind of truth. The King of Wands is the Six of Swords. This, so this king of okay, this king of wands could be this person for some of you who can't really see you because they're still trying to leave something from their past behind. They're still trying to release some kind of baggage. So you could have two different karmic masculines in your energy right now. Not karmic as in like they don't necessarily have to be terrible people or anything, but you're not equally yoked. You're the queen of cups. You're becoming the queen of swords. You're putting up boundaries. You see the truth about these situations. You see somebody is lying. They're hiding something. They're creating an illusion. Somebody else is trying, is struggling, trying to let go of some kind of baggage. So you're going into hermit mode. You're reflecting. You're listening to your, your, your own. Like you're listening to your intuition for sure. The devil is here with these seven of cups. You know there's a lot of illusions being presented to you that's going to keep you chained to some kind of situation that you're breaking free of. So the seven of pentacles, this could actually be you choosing to just say, you know, okay, these situations didn't work. You go into hermit mode, seven of pentacles, you start working on yourself, playing for the long term, and then boom, here comes the emperor. I, I think that's what it is, yeah. Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Something here, it, it has left you feeling overwhelmed and burdened. Because you have people in your energy right now who are coming with hardship. This King of Pentacles could already be, you know, established, married, 
or they work too much or something. And you're just like, you're like, I don't want any of these situations that you're the genie in the bottle. You're looking for somebody that's going to rub you the right way. These people, they're not, they're not rubbing you the right way. So their genie energy isn't coming. It's not coming out. The seven of wands. This is you standing up for yourself and you're like, if it's not the Ten of Pentacles, I don't want it. Six of Pentacles. If it's not the Ten of Pentacles, if it's not reciprocal, if a person's not being generous, if it's not equal give and take, then you're just avoiding it at all costs. Two of Wands. You're making the decision now to call judgment on a situation that's the Ten of Swords. Not of Wands. These situations that have left you feeling like something is toxic or you could feel like it's going to betray you either now or later. You have to be very defensive and feel paranoid, stressed out. Where You're like four swords. You've already healed from this once before. You're not willing to go into another cycle of doing this. Instead, you're, you're, you're now manifesting the big offer. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. And it's coming. Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Four of Wands. But you just have to say no to anybody that is in a distorted masculine energy. People who are in egotistical, they're insecure, they're in and out, they don't really know what they want. They're disappointed from their ex or a business deal that went wrong or whatever the case is. They're stuck on their past. They're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to heal. They're still dealing with childhood trauma. You're just like, yeah, no, I can't work with you. Three of Pentacles. You want somebody that you can build with. Simple. So it looks like Eight of Wands, the world, you're quickly taking action right now. To like shut everything down, shut it off. Queen of Cups, you're, you're turning this loving, compassionate energy off to the people who don't deserve it. You're becoming the Queen of Swords. You're putting up boundaries now. And that's going to help you to manifest this emperor. So for some of you, yeah, um, this emperor, this is somebody new. Like I said, either you haven't had a connection with them before, or this is someone that, um, this is someone that if you know them, you know, it hasn't gotten to that point, or this is someone brand new coming in. The Ten of Swords, though, yeah, you're putting an end to something here. The Ten of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords right here, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, there's a major completion here. A lot of alignment. You're standing up for yourself. This five of pentacles here. If you had any kind of abandonment, rejection wounds where you, you know, accepted less than what you deserve or what you desire, you're putting that to rest. You're tired of feeling burned out and dealing with people and situations that don't serve you. The judgment card is here. This is you going through some kind of rebirth, like understanding what your life purpose is. Two of wands. You're choosing to go towards success. You're turning your back on the Ten of Swords. You're turning your back on people or situations that have betrayed you or caused like difficulty in your life. Yeah, this wounded warrior energy, you're coming out of survival mode. You're tired. The Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords, you're like, I just, you need to rest. Yeah, the world, Eight of Wands. So this is coming full circle. And boom, all of a sudden, you rest, you heal, you take time out. The Ace of Pentacles, you have someone that comes in or just an offer that comes in that leads to meaningful work or collaboration. You learning something new. A lot of prosperity and abundance. The lovers, you could be working with somebody that you actually have feelings for. The Four of Wands, security, stability, and the Ten of Pentacles. You and this person are going to have an actual partnership. If this is, you know, a part, you know, and for some of you, it may not even be romantic. It could be a business partner, but it's something that's going to work out really, really well. I don't know. For some of you, like I said, I don't know if this is someone new or if one of these people in your energy is going to get their act together. Anything else? Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles. So somebody is juggling. Somebody is trying to balance everything out so that they can have victory success. They, they want to have the rewards and the recognition with you. If this is someone that hasn't told you that they see a future with you, though, 
the seven of pentacles, three of wands, there will probably have to be some kind of break here where this person is going to have to go and figure out what they're going to do with this pentacle that they're going to present to you. They're going to have to work on this pentacle so that when they present themselves to you the next time, they present themselves to you as an emperor and they're ready to put you in a position of being the empress. You will become an empress when this emperor comes. You're the queen of cups. Okay? Queen of cups, queen of swords. You will become an empress when you go into partnership with this two of cups person. This emperor. So in other words, this person will make you their husband or wife. So, But this person right now is going to have to let go of some kind of oppressive, outdated way of thinking and really put in the work to present this offer to you. Or if it's not someone you know, you have someone brand new that's coming in that you're manifesting. Some of you could meet a person that could be foreign or you could meet a person while you're traveling or you could have a relationship that starts out like long distance because you have the three of wands, the world and the eight of wands. Those are three cards of traveling or like distant travel. Some of you definitely, this could be a person that's foreign or, or like I said, long distance. For some of you to see this person, you would ha probably have to take a three to hour, three to eight hour drive or flight. It could be as long as an eight-hour drive, and it would be a three-hour flight to see this person. So this could start out, some of you, it could be a long-distance relationship. Or somebody at a distance is planning a life with you, and you're, you're probably like, I don't see how this could work. With the distance and everything, this person, it's like now they're uncertain about how it could work too, but they may actually be willing to put in the work to say, okay, let, let's let's figure this out. Or again, you guys, you may just meet someone while traveling. And I feel like this connection, obviously the two of cups, the empress and the emperor, traveling or whatever, it's something here about traveling, driving, here's a chariot. The, the, whatever challenges you and this person you're going to work through them whoever this person is the chariot like something here you're moving forward yeah there's going to be some kind of, the chariot is like breakthrough it's a card of victory whoever this emperor is you're going to have a major breakthrough with this person whether they're new or someone currently in your life here the will of fortune good luck this is a positive shift or change happening. Anything else? I really, I want to know so bad. Like, is this a new person or someone in your life now? You guys let me know in the comments. <laughs> like, what do you think it is? Do you think it's the, somebody that's going to get their act together or are you just going for something completely new? Knight of Swords, King of Swords, honey. Somebody is determined. Five of Wands. <laughs> so, I think that answers my question. This is somebody, for a lot of you, you know this person. And they're they're not going to let you go. Somebody is just like, so you looking for better? I'm going to be better then. Because you're not leaving me. <laughs> the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Somebody is coming in like, yeah, there is no competition. <laughs> if you try to leave me, they're bringing you all the chaos, all the comfort. They're like, no. <laughs> That's my divine feminine. That's my genie in the bottle. <laughs> Their research, Ace of Swords. How do I need to rub it? How do I? Need, what do I need to do? <laughs> Not in pentacles. They're like, so <laughs> what do I have to do to bring my pentacle in? <laughs> so, I mean, this person's like, I need to plant a seed. This person wants to come in and plant a seed. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles, though, they come in and and their their intention is to actually be a provider. But this person has to work very hard to get to that point right now. It could be this King of Wands energy. And this is causing a little bit of, um, of stress for them. Because with you, they can't just rush in. They have to come towards you with a plan. It's, it, you're, this person has to get out of their comfort zone to come towards you. The King of Wands has to come to you as the Knight of Pentacles. They have to come to you and, and, and tell you, okay, this is the plan. You, you're going to have to see this person's 
their commitment. You have to see them being diligent and hardworking. This person has is going to have to prove to you the seven of pentacles. Because obviously, you're, if you're the genie in the bottle, before you come out and, and bless somebody, you're like, I need to know that you, you're, you're going to put the work in. Because right now you're the queen of swords. It's boundaries. If you don't see the hard work, you're not doing it. So the only person that has a shot with you is a person that is putting in the work, putting in the action. This is no more, yeah, you know, we, we can have a telepathic spiritual connection. And that No, you're like, no. Where are the acts of service? Show up. Let me see. You like, let me see it. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> this is so funny. It's kind of cute. <laughs> the three of cups in <laughs> the reverse. <laughs> yeah. Somebody is about to come to you. A lot of you, this, this could be somebody in your life. Somebody is about to come to you and they, they want to express to you what their plan is. This person with the three of cups in the reverse, this person right now, they're coming to you and they, it's like they want to have a conversation. They, um, they literally may write something down and they're, they're going to be expressing to you, listen, I don't, I don't want to date anybody else. I'm not hanging out with my friends as much. The three of cups, this person is going to let you know that it's something about how they carry on and carry out with other people, groups or whatever. They're like, no, I'm not doing that. This person wants you to know that they really are trying to buckle down and get very serious about their life and about their future because they want you to see them as someone who is capable of being the emperor. So like if this is the king of wands, perhaps, and they like to go out, they like to party, or um, they have a lot of friends or family around them, and, and maybe they don't have all of their responsibilities or priorities together. This person now, that they're starting to see the Ten of Cups with you, um, the Three of Cups is in the reverse. They're like, yeah, I... What did I say in the beginning? This is someone who's very charismatic. Like they, they're very confident. The Queen of Cups. You can not trying to put their their fire out, but you can tame this kind of person. This may be the person they normally is. I'm going out with my friends, or I'm doing this. And, with you, they're like, no, I want that that loving, caring, nurturing energy. I want that. I want that. this person. They're like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to party. I want the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Cups gives the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, the tower now is in the reverse. This is like an inevitable change here. The Ace of Wands. For some of you, you can try to run from a person and y'all are still going to end up together. Something just has to stabilize here. It's not on you. And I'm not saying, hey, wait on somebody. No, I'm not saying that at all. Because the emperor could actually be somebody brand new. But this is just the energy today. The energy could be totally different in, in a few hours tomorrow, you know. But right now, somebody has intentions of getting themselves together and becoming your emperor. They may not be telling you that, okay? They may not even fully see it. And for some of you with this Devil Seven of Cups, there's illusions here. The Queen of Wands, I kept seeing that energy in the deck, but I feel like Spirit is telling us to not really focus too much on this third part. Somebody has definitely been um, causing interference in your connections with someone, but it's, it's obvious that in the readings that something has shifted energetically where Spirit is saying, this is no longer really going to be an issue or it's not something that you should put too much of your attention into whoever the queen of wands, the third party like energy is. This is someone from the past. If someone has decided the fool in the reverse, not to take a leap of faith with the four of cups, they're not interested in this person. They've walked away. However, the two of swords, this, whatever the situation is with that person, the baggage that they were carrying is the reason why somebody was unable to meet and match you as the king of cups. How, but that's not, that's not going to be an issue. No. Somebody was having a hard time getting over the disappointment or something. Now they're becoming very inspired to move forward, to get out of some kind of depression or whatever. They're balancing themselves out. Temperance, Ace of Cups, and the Magician. Once again, this could be this King of Wands energy that's coming towards you. You know, Sagittarius, like the Temperance, they're known to be very free-spirited. 
very free spirited. Okay, which is is interesting because like temperance is all about self control and moderation. So for some some of you, this person they could be a little bit moody, but see they're learning about love and manifestation, the spiritual connection here. The hangman, this person is going through an awakening, and they're starting to see that they've been holding themselves back from the nine of pentacles, a divine feminine. And it could be because of something from their past or their childhood. Just some way of thinking or being or something. Yeah, but the page of pentacles. They're hoping that they can bring you security and stability. You will bring them love. And the two of you can run off in the sunset, you know, and, and look at the stars together every night. I don't know. The Eight of Swords, there's some kind of illusion or confusion on this finally ending. Yeah, because something there, there was some kind of, you know, crap thrown in the game here. Some kind of deception that was sent towards you and or this person to cause an ending. This is also self-deceit and self-sabotage. And somebody's finally putting an end to that as well. So this actually looks good. Um, let me see. Let's see if we can find some. Love. I want to find a love oracle or actually I have a deck that I want to pull. Some of you, um, I'm getting, it's like, it's just this, if this is someone in your life, this person could have to move for work or something for you. This person is going to be very focused on improving their life and it may lead to a very major shift or change. Like they may relocate for work or something, but it seems like... Whatever the case is, like you and this person, you may still end up with them. For some of you, and this is not all of you, for some of you, there's a person that you're really meant to be with. <laughs> it really doesn't matter what you and this person go through. It's all just for lessons and for you to gain wisdom. But ultimately, you're going to end up with this person. For some of you. I'm not saying go to a person who is, you know, narcissistic and rude, nasty. No. But for some of you, it's just the circumstances and conditions right now are challenging. Clean up. See? It's time to clean something up here. It's time to get rid of any kind of negative situations. Clean up your life. Declutter your mind. Simplify things. The mountain card is here. So, yeah, there are obstacles and challenges here. But these are things that you can work through. You have the woman here. Okay? And dice. Getting out of your comfort zone. I'm wondering if the woman, if this is you and you were sent to this person's life to kind of help them to overcome some obstacles and challenges. So you may be inspiring someone, if you're the divine feminine, to kind of get out of their comfort zone. To embrace the unknown. I feel like if you're inspiring them to do that, they're inspiring you to do the same thing. Oh, wow. Look. So, oh, soulmates and marriage. Rare gift. Wow. Third party. There's been a third party interference here, but somebody is rising like the, the phoenix from the ashes and getting over that. Somebody is, is no longer in despair. This could be you too, Divine Feminine. Like whoever this other masculine is. You may finally be like letting go. You have her angel. You you finally have received the angelic help that you needed to fully get someone or something out of your energy. This person right now who you're connected to or about to connect with, I feel like they are in the process of doing the same thing. This is a spiritual connection both of you could have had something interfering like i said it could be a person a mindset you and this person there could have been distance between you it's something somebody could have been doing magic whatever it, it's an illusion that's finally being shattered and this card the phoenix it literally it says being offered a second chance the end of despair what was lost is being restored so if you and, and a person have a connection and you know it's meant to be, it's a divine connection, but there has been different people or things interfering, it's like something here is shifting and changing your energy and their energy is being cleansed and purified so that this connection can really come through. 
And for some of you, of course, you haven't met this person, but you're seeing the truth about these distorted masculines or feminists in your life. And that's going to help you now to see that you need to get out of your comfort zone, maybe stop dating the same type of person. You'll go out and you will meet someone. But remember, I said genie in a bottle, rare gift. It's like you have a rare gift. For some of you, it says the power to attract. Well, you have a rare gift. You can upgrade a person's life. You have... I don't know. You're like the golden egg. You're you're the genie in the bottle, and, and people are are noticing. Like, wow. One person in your energy, they know that another person, they've been spiritually blind. They couldn't see it because they were in despair about something else. It says different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So, with somebody in your in your energy for sure, you and this person, you don't share the same vision. Someone is secretly yearning for you. This could be the person who's actually yearning for you. <laughs> or even the person that you um that's planning the future with you. They could be pretending that, you know, this is just something strictly sexual. You know, it's passionate, but it's not enduring. The card says strictly sexual. Some of you may not even be sexually active, but somebody could just be acting like, oh, you know, I just love being around you, but I don't really know if I want to whatever the case is. You have rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Somebody is in denial. Like I said, somebody is spiritually blind. They're in denial about a connection or you are. You have denial, um, boundaries, warning. There's red flags here. And then abundance. So this is why a lot of you, you're ghosting this situation or you will. Because it's like, it's passionate, but... You and somebody, you're on a different, you're on a different page. You don't have the same vision. Either they're rejecting you or you're rejecting them. But it's like this person or somebody is still secretly longing for you. Awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations here and now. Okay. It says your true love is already a part of your life. So somebody is spiritually blind. They can't see this. Like I said before. It's exactly what I was I was feeling. You have somebody that knows your work, they know your value, but they could be stuck in a situation because they have children or a connection elsewhere, whatever the case is. So they're kind of getting in your energy. They're always longing for you or yearning for you, and you can tell. But like this person is playing mind games, they're tempted by you, but they're stuck somewhere else. Then you have another person. That can see how passionate this connection is. They're secretly yearning for you as well, but they could be rejecting you because they're not fully awakened and aware to actually see that they, they, this person. It's not that they don't see you; they don't see any uh, divine anything. They they just they're spiritually blind right now. But you have here true love, children here and now. Children are important to this partnership. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So for some of you, again, like I said, when a person comes out of denial and they go through this awakening, they're going to realize that you're their true love. They want to have children with you and that true love was right in front of their face the whole time. It's something like that. Fate. Wow. This is a destined partnership. So for some of you, like I said, it's a person in your energy or around you. It's going to happen in divine timing. Some of you, you you already met your person. Even if they're in your life right now just as a friend or as something casual, something is going to shift and change and you and this person, you're going to end up in a long-term committed relationship. Either blending your families if you already have children or you will have children with this person. If you're not of childbearing um, age or whatever, you and this person will still, there will be something that you will create together. A car flipped over. More than friends. There you have it. Oh, Y'all, listen. You have somebody that wants... They're your friend. They're rejecting romance at this point. Or this is you. You have a friend. They love you or you love them, but... For whatever reason, you're not saying that. <laughs> 
checkpoint. So you and this person may have like a heart to heart conversation soon. You and this person could go on a trip and that may be where you start having a vulnerable conversation and you may decide, hey, I think that partnership is something that we should try. Remember, the the um, there was three cards out here about vacation travel. So for some of you, like, look, partnership and the pursuit. For some of you, if you go on a trip with someone or something like that, something is going to shift or change. If this is a person right now you're dating, maybe you're this person, you go, you you travel together, you have fun, or something is going to eventually shift where it's going to go from friends to a romantic partnership. You and this person will start to go on vacations and travel together. You'll be vulnerable. Before you know it, you're in a whole partnership with this person. And this card says the pursuit. To, act, to pursue love means to act with intention and purpose. Appreciate the generous acts of them of those that we desire and that desire us. So for something, something for some of you, eventually there's a connection that you have. It's going to grow into more. Family and friends and security. So for some of you, you could travel to see someone's family and friends. Look at this. Love at first sight, building a future together. Watch out, though. Watch out for some of you. There's still a person that's in your energy or in the energy of this person. Watch out. Annoyance. It's somebody is still either like somebody has another energy trying to telepathically communicate with them constantly. And it's making it hard for you to see or recognize that someone is devoted to you or your person is finding it hard to see, recognize, or accept that you're you're wanting to be devoted to them. But again, it's like this is a magnetic soul attraction. I feel like whatever you're doing is working. Even if that means you're detaching, it's fine. Because um, there's something in the background still sort of like affecting this connection. But I think it, it's okay. Like I said, the, the third party energy isn't even coming in. Yeah, look at this card, Secrets. You don't have all of the facts here about a situation. Something is still hidden. This card says making something official online. So somebody may eventually join this person. You may become Facebook official. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. That's too many. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Make the effort and let go of control issues. So it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So for some of you, yeah, it's like a, a friendship or you're dating somebody. It may be casual, but eventually you're going you're going to become intentional about having a partnership. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my gosh, y'all look. Yes, this is your soulmate. Then you have true love and then wedding. Religious factors. Like I said, somebody right now, they're not as awakened as you are. But you still, for you or this person, you need to release your ex. There's some kind of mindset that you still have because of your ex. Or they do. You need to completely purge something out of your energy. Whoever this person is, they're worth waiting for. Even if there's some kind of like separation or they're still growing, it'll be worth it. I just said that. Look, separation. Somebody may need some time to separate to focus more on their finances and career like we saw. The Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a magnetic attraction here, but this person, they need to work on security and stability um, or just knowing truly like who they are, what they want. You could be a little bit more advanced spiritually than this person. Or of course, the roles could be reversed. You could be dealing with someone. They are very established. They know who they are, what they want. And you could be new to your journey trying to, you know, going through a transition in your life. But it's something here that is meant to be. But there is also an energy that's lingering. Something is still in your, in your energetic field or your person. And it's like an ex that's still telepathically communicating with somebody or something like that. They need to go because they're causing confusion. But I'm somebody here, they're not letting you go. Somebody is just like, I know you want a better, 
version of me and they're like so <laughs> just just give me a minute um I'll, I'll become a better version some of you you know this may unfold naturally with this person but if it doesn't if it's destined for you to be you know in a partnership some, the right person will come along you don't have to tell yourself like oh i can only be with this king of pentacles or king of wands this emperor could be one of these two people or somebody brand new that you haven't met 